Thank you. Thank you for being with me. May God bless you once again. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. If you have done so, God bless you and continue to share my message. You are more than welcome. We continue Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So when God is saying, I will give you rest, he means it because Jesus gives true rest. Child of God, God has already invited us to come and we have already come to Jesus Christ. But as I normally share in this platform, we are Christians, we love God, we do our best to obey Him and to follow Him. But we have an enemy called Satan, Lucifer. This guy means business and this guy is serious and this guy is after our lives. He hates us with passion. So when you belong to Jesus, make sure you belong to Jesus. Don't play games, don't do tricks. Otherwise, when Satan comes after you, he will destroy you completely and there will be nothing to say about you. Child of God, Jesus Christ has said, come already. But when he has invited you to the table, he gives instruction. A simple instruction. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. But loving somebody, it does not make them your friend. This is where majority of us, we make a mistake. When you love somebody, when you love someone, it does not mean necessarily they have to be your friend. You love, you keep your distance, then there are other people you love, you bring them close. Because it is in this area where many of us, we find challenges. Jesus Christ has invited us. He said, come, all you who labor and are heavily laden, and I will give you rest. When you have come to him, there is this guy by the name Satan. He hates you because you're now following Jesus. He keeps on bringing different type of people. Because you, you love. Immediately and you make a friend. This is why we are wounded so much that we cannot heal until today. I am not encouraging you not to bring people close to you, but what I am saying is be careful. Many servants of God today, their names are being tarnished because they loved too much, they cared for people, then people use their weakness now to destroy them. Many businesses today are down because a business owner loved somebody, brought them close, and that person was the one who destroyed the business. Same applies to you, child of God, today. I don't know the situation that you are going through, but when you look, maybe you loved somebody, trusted them with all, then at the end of the day, they disappointed you. Now, when you come to Jesus, this is what Jesus Christ is saying. Love your neighbor. Pray for those that persecute you. Those that accuse you wrongly, pray for them. If you want to be a partaker in Christ's kingdom, because Jesus Christ is the King of kings, He is seated at the right hand of the Father. So if you want to be a partaker of Christ's blessings, you have to learn to forgive, you have to learn to let go. But now as a Christian, you need to develop a system within you. Put a hedge surrounding you. Protect yourself. Because if you cannot put a hedge surrounding you, if you cannot protect yourself, the enemy will use people that you think they are good people to destroy you. Many of us today, we no longer want to go to church because somebody whom we trusted at church 
disappointed us. Mind you, let me share this with you also. My weakness, God cannot take away what he has given me. Your weakness, wherever you are weak, wherever you are failing, God cannot take away the gift that he has given you because of that wrong. Pay attention, child of God. When people do wrong to us, when people make mistakes, get angry, yes? Go and cool down and come back and continue to live your life with them. God has said, come. When God has said, come, there are a lot of things required from you, child of God. You have to love unconditionally and you have to forgive always. I believe, as young as I am, since I was born up to now, I have just discovered that many of us, our challenge, we struggle to forgive. This is why we don't have peace. We have loved the wrong people, put them close, trusted them with everything that we have, and at the end of the day, they disappointed us. So because they have disappointed us to forgive, it becomes difficult. But when Jesus is saying, come to me, he said, come with that bitterness and I will take it away from you. Come with that unforgiveness and I will take it away from you. So do not run away from God whenever you are in a situation. Do not run away from God whenever you find yourself in trouble. Trouble means somebody can bring trouble to your heart and you find it difficult to forgive. Come to Jesus, explain yourself. Matthew 7, 7 says, Ask and it will be given to you. Come to Jesus and ask for peace and God will give you that peace that you need. Tell Jesus everything. Pour your heart to him. He is your creator. He is waiting for you. He said, come to me. All that are heavenly laden, all that labor and heavenly laden, and I will surely give you the rest. What are you doing today, child of God? What have you done today? When a problem came to you, what did you do? You called pastor's names, you called business people names, you called your boss names, you even called your wife names, you even called your husband names. You forget to run to God. Today, child of God, I'm encouraging you that no matter what kind of a situation that you are in, that storm that you are in, Jesus Christ is saying, come my son, come my daughter, and I will give you rest. What is your prayer request that you have been praying, going up and down to different places of worship, which is okay, because you have to try. There is nothing wrong with that, because even the Bible tells us, test all the spirits. When you go to your church and you find your spirit is not comfortable with you are allowed to move on and look to a place where you can be comfortable in worshiping God. Because many of us today, we are failing to move forward because we have now become in bondage. We cannot run to Jesus Christ. We are running to men. This is why it is difficult for you to be corrected, to be directed by the servant of God whom God has assigned for you. When they try to tell you this because you are filled, your heart is filled with bitterness and offense. You can't let go and you forget that the scripture says, ask and it will be given to you. My prayer for you today, may God give you plenty so that those who steal from you, it will be nothing from you. No matter how much they can try to destroy you, it will be nothing. May God bless you with happiness on everyday life so that when Satan comes to hurt you, he finds you filled up with happiness so that it will be difficult to break you. I pray for you right now as you're watching this. Wherever the enemy has found entry in you, we close that door in the name of Jesus Christ. That darkness that has surrounded you, your loved ones, and your family. Right now, they are set free in the name of Jesus Christ. 
love them and remember this today's message jesus says come to me all that labor and are heavily laden and i will give you rest so it means no matter what luggage that you are carrying bring it on to jesus he is there to help you he is there to set you free he is there to deliver you he is there to bless you he will never leave you nor forsake you this is why he's saying come to me he knows what he can do for you trust jesus child of god do not look back come to jesus and he will give you rest he will give you peace you will not lack when you are with jesus Jesus Christ loves you, child of God. Don't doubt yourself. Come to Jesus. He is waiting for you. God bless you. See you on another sermon. I love you, but Jesus Christ loves you more. Thank you. <music>